The power of social media is beyond anything we could have imagined just a few short years ago, whether X or Facebook or YouTube or a dozen others. Social media simply seems to have a life all of its own, and that's especially true when it comes to disinformation. Perhaps the leader in the disinformation movement might be Donald Trump and his ironically named Truth Social. Since starting up Truth Social as an alternative to Twitter at the time. Donald Trump may have dispensed more incorrect information than anyone else on the planet. Sadly, much of this wrong information is deliberate. It is not a situation where he doesn't have enough information, but rather how he wishes to propose a specific narrative that glorifies him. And we see this playing out on Truth Social as Trump and his hardcore supporters will post images and memes that deliberately try to portray Trump as our savior, and they do so over and over again. Images that tell us that Trump was right about everything, images about Trump leading one nation under God. Other images telling us that Trump is our last hope, telling us that he will make America great again, while simultaneously making him look like the Godfather and using a font that's straight out of Friday the Thirteenth movie. We've seen Trump post images about open borders being dangerous and immoral, and yet perhaps accidentally or perhaps on purpose, telling us that there is no greater evil. Directly above an image of Trump himself, images that portray him as a savior, of him leading a pack of lions, as being the greatest the world has ever witnessed, as being our warrior, our justice, and our retribution, as the one who will unite all Americans under God, that he will repair America again, that rhinos are evil. And that there is no lesser of two evils, even though coincidentally many Americans would say they're supporting Trump because he is the lesser of two evils. Images calling him one of God's finest warriors, AI images of him and an eagle, images of Trump's MAGA movement being the fingerprint of America. He's posted images about himself heroically riding on a horse to save America, with an image of Jesus behind him, as if blessing Donald Trump. Images of Trump with angel wings, as Trump as a literal fighter for America, as being the purveyor of truth. Images telling us that what he's doing is straight out of the Bible, telling us straight up that he is saving America. And images that specifically connect him to the crucifixion of Jesus, as he stretches out his arms, and we're told that nothing can stop his second coming. Most of these images were posted by Donald Trump himself, and a few of them by hardcore supporters that he's posted time and time again. But they're all conveying a message: the message that Donald Trump is our savior. But there's also a more subtle message behind these images, which is that they are an allusion to Bible prophecy. For example, this image from last year that Trump posted himself on Truth Social shows a lion coming up out of the sea, and a reference to MAGA. The lion is the king of the beast. The Bible, of course, refers to the Antichrist as a beast. And tells us that he will come up out of the sea. Here we have Trump and his supporters using that same specific imagery that portrays a beast coming up out of the sea. But yesterday, Trump did this again when he posted a recommendation to a book all about him and his so-called economic miracle. This is yet another allusion to Bible prophecy in that. Miracles will surround the coming of the man of sin. They are laying the groundwork for the narrative now, 
so that next year, or whenever Trump does return to power, what happens with the economy will be referred to as a miracle. So when you do see images about how great Donald Trump is, understand that it's a deliberate fabrication of what the man actually is. He is not the savior Jesus is. Donald Trump is a destroyer. And what he will bring to America and to the world is destruction.